pilgrimage for justice and peace is a calling from God. And all of us as human beings and as Christians, we will respond positively to this calling. Each context in the continent differs, but there are common elements that needs to be respected during this pilgrimage of justice and peace. I come from Cyprus, where we have two major communities, the Greek Cypriots and the Turkish Cypriots, and three religious groups, the Armenian Apostolic Orthodox Church, the Maronite Catholic Church, and the Latin Catholic Church. And plus, we have other Christian denominations and communities. In 1974, the island of Cyprus has been divided and the northern part has been occupied by Turkey. We are fortunate at this stage that in the north we have a political leader who was elected in April with a clear vision that the top priority for him is the reunification of the island. And definitely this commitment is firmly echoed by the President of the Republic of Cyprus and the two political leaders and their negotiators are in constant working meetings in order to find out clear solution for this crisis. And the religious leaders, they come together, the Church of Cyprus, the Orthodox Church, the Mufti of the Turkish Cy Cypriots, the Archbishop of the Armenian Orthodox, the Archbishop of the Maronite Church, and the Vicar General of the Latin Church. We have a fellowship which is called Religious Track for Peace in Cyprus, and when we come together, we discuss common concerns, starting from freedom of worship, access to the occupied parts where we have churches and monasteries, free movement of the people all over the island, and other concrete steps to facilitate the whole process. I believe that we are at the stage of confidence building and we have to continue with a clear vision that we have one island, one Cyprus, that belongs to all of us.